Yo, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Rush Meat, and I am back with another video. I this video is gonna be different from my other videos because this is gonna be a Dragon Ball Super episode 129 review. I won't do reviews in the future. I may make one more review video, but that's just gonna be talking about what I think about all of Dragon Ball Super. But that that I don't know if I'll do that or not, so no guarantee. But this specific video because I want to speak up, talk about Dragon Ball so 129 and just how amazing it was and just the shit that was going through my head because it's actually unbelievable so if you have not watched the episode i'm gonna warn you that there's spoilers in this video so i expect you to watch it or just watch anyways i'm just warning you right now if it's, it's spoilers up ahead so click off the video if you don't want the show like if you don't want me to ruin anything but I'm gonna get into it before that actually I want to give a shout out to my friend Jared Larson He's been the guy that's been hooking me up with all the sick beats in all my videos That you see from my like Call of Duty and such if you guys do actually like them His links are always in the description in my videos when I use the songs I do recommend you guys go listen to him. He's really really good. He's really talented So I recommend you guys go listen to his shit. It's actually dope. He really comes through He works really hard and whatnot anyways now let's let's actually get into this review okay episode 129 oh my god jeez almighty oh man so this episode overall it was a great episode okay so much was going on that was insane the back the 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 like attacks between jiren and goku was unbelievable you know you had Belmod, you know, he was underestimating Goku still after what Goku has shown throughout the entire tournament, always surpassing his limits. Belmod still had the audacity to kind of underestimate him, but you know, that kind of changed later on. But like, everyone was just watching Goku in awe, you know, just using his ultra in instinct ability. The gods of destruction are just shocked too, and it's just unbelievable. You know, the Xenos doing their thing, they're just acting, you know, childish and funny. It was just dope. The action between Jiren and Goku was just awesome. It was worth the wait, the like wait the extra week to watch this episode because the animation was spot on. You know the graphics was insane. It was oh my god, dude! The, the episode was sick. And then when Goku finally achieved his Ultra Instinct, like the full power, like the mastered Ultra Instinct with the white silver hair, jeez, oh my god, it was so sick because Jiren used his super ultimate attack. It per, I think it was. It was like it was essentially like a, an ultimate attack. It was just a heavy hitter. Goku just took it, and then he teleports. Behind, well, like not teleports, but I guess teleports. You could say whatever it was. But he ends up becoming goes behind Jiren because the attack just go, goes away. Goku and the attack go away. Goku now is behind Jiren and just flicks his hand. Goku just flicks his hand like nothing and just. This like just makes Jiren's attack disappear. It was unbelievable. I was just astonished. I've never seen Goku do something like that in my entire life. That was just holy crap. And then seeing Goku reach this new limit, man, you just never expect it. For okay, ever since Dragon Ball Z ended and like with the whole Dragon Ball GT and stuff and the movie stopping, like just that whole time period where there was no Dragon Ball content besides the games alone i was still like i was still on the wave man i was still on the dragon ball wave like i've always been about it like i've always been watching the the shows re-watching episodes consistently re-watching the movies consistently always getting a new game consistently you know i'm always like i stayed connected no matter what even though some people fell off and then people came back or some people rode the wave again like that's not a big problem to me i don't care i mean the love for dragon ball z and dragon ball and dragon ball super dragon ball gt whatever it's all sick i don't care so but like for me for someone who's been on that wave for so long and like since the moment i was a little kid it's just crazy to see goku's transformation from what he was like as a kid just his personality his strength level and just everything from when he was a 12 year old kid training under master Roshi and what he is now in episode dragon ball super 129 seeing just the new ultra instinct the the mastered level it was just like a a huge like just shock it just like hit me it's like holy shit like goku is really in this god tier bitch right now like he's really in here like he is top tier like i think honestly just based off 
that episode, I think if Goku's able to consistently tap into that power, he he um has surpassed the gods of destruction themselves. Cause I'm not gonna say the angels, cause I'm not 100% sure. I doubt he surpassed some of the angels like Whis. I doubt he surpassed. However, with the gods of destruction, destruction, I know that he surpassed a lot of them. I don't know about Beerus, but I think he even surpassed Beerus at this point because even because Beerus was talking to Whis and that conversation was awesome it just it led up to that transformation it was just awesome because it confirmed that Goku has achieved that mastered ultra instinct form and hearing Beerus say that the way like he said it and then just how like energized he got when he heard it and like just seeing his face and stuff it was awesome that's why I recommend everyone go watch the episode um, I mean if you don't know what's going on it'll make no sense and what I'm saying just sounds trash and over dramatic however if you do know what I'm saying then you understand where I'm coming from because it was just unbelievable seeing Goku achieve this new form it's like yeah whatever like who cares like Goku always achieves new forms blah 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 but the thing about this form over all the other forms is this one has like so much going with it because like all these gods and stuff are just looking at him in awe and they're just like holy shit man this guy just surpassed us all and you know I have my issues with the whole Ultra Instinct stuff, but like I might talk about that again with the, um, with the Dragon Ball Super review again. That's not about it right now. I'm just here to tell you guys like, to let just let you guys know that, just how crazy that this episode was, and just looking at Goku and seeing what he's accomplished over, over the years of just, of just the Dragon Ball series. I mean, if you just want to cut off GT whatever. Um, just what he's accomplished since he was 12 up to this point, you know, training for Master Roshi to training with gods like Whis at this point and reaching a level that no god of destruction has mastered, you know, Beerus only being able to use it a little bit, you know, it's just, it just blows my mind, but like, I mean, the, back to the episode, it was just, again, it was like, it was very action packed and it was really cool, what Vegeta was saying to stand up to uh to stand up for goku was awesome because he was like when he, vegeta was bringing up how the saiyans how like just the saiyans in within the arc throughout the arc was just talking about he was saying that like how they all managed to surpass their limits like he was able to hit his royal blue form goku able to hit um uh, ultra instinct um kaba being able to hit super saiyan 2 with the Kefla transformation, um, Kale learning how to do, oh no, Khalifla learning how to do the Super Saiyan 2 properly because of Goku, and Kale learning t to control her angered Super Saiyan mode, or you could say her legendary Super Saiyan power, like Broly, it's the same thing essentially, as if the Saiyans consistently were able to m surpass themselves and break their barrier every single time and each Saiyan has been able to do so and Vegeta was standing up for Goku in that sense because one of the gods and I think it was Belmont who was saying that Goku has reached his limit and that there is no chance essentially and that Jiren's gonna win at this point however you know Vegeta was saying like how do you know that how could you say that all the Saiyans have surpassed themselves so why can't Kakarot do the same thing essentially and you know what Goku ends up doing the same thing he's mastered he ended up mastering the ultra instinct at the end he literally beats Jiren like like minced meat like he just oh I, oh my god it was jeez I like I guess said I recommend everyone watch it um it, it was actually a really good episode that's like it was so good that I have to make it a review about it because it's just insane obviously I'm not the best person to make a review about it this is my first review so I, I can't really I don't know how this review stuff works I know other youtubers do it like Ron style and like for Neverworld um, if you if you want to watch them because it probably give a way better explanation of the episode I'm just gonna I'm giving it to you from my perspective it's just gonna be pretty much raw like I'm not gonna cut anything out I'm just gonna give it to you straight and then I'm just gonna have some like obviously some gameplay in the background whatever but man is this this episode this is like like I said just for as someone who's been following the Dragon Ball series for like all like two decades no not yeah two decades almost and then seeing Goku's transformation like this and then it's just unbelievable this is 
it's actually crazy because like you wouldn't you that was the biggest thing it's like the way you looked at Goku as a kid and the way you look at him now you would never expect him to achieve such a a level of power or transformation such as Ultra Instinct. Maybe he would have had something like Ultra Instinct, but the tier of its power is unbelievable. Like it's god tier, like some the gods are looking at it and like holy crap, like he's a he surpassed this type of thing, you know what I mean? They're, like it's fearful. You just never would have expected it to come from Goku. Even when Goku killed Kid Buu with the spirit bomb when he said like essentially when he said like bye and like hope you come back as a good guy i just even at that point it's like wow like goku you really made it like you're op and i just never would have thought you would have amounted to this like craziness you know like how strong he is you know of course that all changed because when dragon ball z came in with the whole saiyan stuff of course it was expected of how much stronger you'll get but when you look compared kid goku to current goku you just didn't think that would happen at least with naruto he had the nine tails with him you expected the power to be able to be like manipulated and used properly but you just did not expect that with goku because you didn't know what goku was in dragon ball but when you started knowing what he was as in Dragon Ball Z and when he achieves Super Saiyan you're like okay you know he's gonna continuously get stronger so when you saw Ascended Saiyans, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3 it was like okay it made sense but just comparing Kid Goku to Ultra Instinct Goku, God Tier Goku you're really thinking like holy crap like who would have thought you know and it's just it blows my mind it just I yo it's just the sickest shit I've ever seen I can't wait for episode 130 I think it goes up to 131 um, I don't know if I'll do up, uh, reviews on those episodes, maybe 130 if it's OP enough, I saw those previews, it was no joke, you know, it was, it was OP man, this, that episode, I, it was probably my favorite episode throughout the actual s super, or I, at the very least, it's my favorite episode throughout the tournament of power arc second favorite episode will definitely have to be when vegeta fought jiren because that was also really cool not the most previous one but like when go vegeta just went in and he got his royal blue transformation that episode is like probably my second favorite with throughout the series or like i said at least um within the arc it was just it was like, to me it was like a 10 out of 10 i thought maybe like a 9.5 out of 10 for in terms of dragon ball episodes that was just a really well put together episode it was just really good just seeing goku's getting serious like this is what i wait this is what i wanted out of super for the longest time out of all of super this is this is the goku that i was waiting for because it seemed like again now i'm talking about in general for super but goku sent very like relax and jokingly throughout the entire series of super and now that he's got his ultra instinct transformation he's a lot more serious and he's just in it like like how he was when he in and z against cell or against frieza or against the saiyans or against the in the boo arc like it was he was always serious in those moments and then now in this finally in ultra instinct when now he, that he has that that transformation, that ability, he's super serious now. He's not playing, he's not joking around. He's really in it to win it. And I'm just happy, like I am so happy. Like just, it's just astonishing, okay? I'm repeating essentially the same thing over and over, but just know that the way Goku is now compared to what he was before as a child, this is so unexpected that just, that's what hits me the hardest. And I was just like, you really made it, man. Cause like, it's just, uh, I mean, there's a lot of problems with Dragon Ball in terms of power scaling, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And just the other characters, how they're just irrelevant and such. But that's just besides the point. If you just look at Goku and his character development, then it's sick. Like, you uh, you can argue that there, Goku has no character development. But if you look at, I'm talking about character development in terms of his power and his strength and how much it's increased. And just the type of person he is compared to what he was a kid. It's just, it blows my mind. Just seeing... Just being able to follow him kind of thing and, and throughout his throughout his like throughout the episodes in the series is just seeing him grow and stuff it's just sick because like because like as i grew i see him grow type of thing you know if that kind of makes sense because like i've been watching dragon ball dragon ball z dragon ball gt dragon ball super in the movies since i was a kid like a really young kid like three years old like so seeing up to this point like you know 17 years of watching dragon ball 
and just understanding Dragon Ball and now seeing what Goku's accomplished is just it's so sick like you know what I mean it's just it really brings back that childhood hype so I'm just really thankful for this episode the Kira Toriyama killed it now the whole debate with Goku for Superman is going to be up in the air because of Ultra Instinct but I'm not even going to I'm not going to bother getting into it Superman's OP it's stupid OP but Ultra Instinct kind of questions it a little bit but I don't know what will happen I hope Screw Attack doesn't you know screw Goku again I don't think they should do a fight. It'd be cool, but I don't want it. It doesn't matter. That's not what this video is about. That's episode 129. Whole bunch of action. Um, Goku's epicness. People recognize, like the gods finally recognizing Goku. I mean, they kind of recognized him before with when he like unlocked, unlocked Ultra Instinct. But now that he's fully acquired it, you know, fear is getting amped up. That's what got me amped up. Hella, hella amped up. So when the dub comes out, because I prefer the dub when it comes to Dragon Ball, so the dub's going to be way, way cooler for all that, that episode. I can't wait. And then, so like the action, the conversations, the, the animation, all of it was fantastic. That's why I'm giving this like a 10 out of 10, 9.5 at the lowest. It was well made, you know. I just got I just got to give it to Funimation and just all those people that put their work into Dragon Ball Super. It's it's dope. I gotta respect them, you know. I mean, Toriyama hasn't written out the the script and stuff for because like the manga is kind of behind the series, so I wonder what's gonna happen in the manga because usually it changes. So we'll see what happens how Goku's like in the manga because the way Super runs in the manga is how it's always ran, like it it's style since Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and and whatnot. It stayed consistent, unlike the anime compared to Z and super it's kind of like it's got a different feel to it that's how i felt anyways but in terms of the manga it's pretty consistent so i can't wait to see what akira toriyama and his and his the person he's working with who's pretty much doing it for akira toriyama i might be mistaken but i know there's another person working with akira toriyama i don't know his name but he's doing a really good job too so i'm thankful for that so can't wait to see what they'll do but that's it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed this review i don't know how long this will be this is probably like a pretty long ass review but if you guys enjoyed please leave a like please leave a like subscribe and comment down below if you do want me to do reviews i don't think honestly i won't do reviews but just comment down below if you want to see like other types of content on my on my channel please go check out my friend jared larson He's, his music is dope as shit um comment down below for like any other type of games you want me to like just play in the future and do with my friends and squads like fortnite whatever just let me know down in the comments below give me your thoughts and feedback of episode 129 because i want to chat with people because it's i uh, damn so much went through my mind but yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching till the very end thanks for the support and i'll catch you guys in the next episode or next video sorry and uh, peace out